Hi there, this is Stephanie Treasure of stephanietreasure.com, your online marketing strategist, coach, and mentor. And today's video is about how to make the most of your time. Now, as an entrepreneur, especially if you're just starting out and you don't have a lot of support staff or systems in place, you're gonna need to really be in control of your time, make the best use of it in order to grow a successful business. So I'm gonna share with you three tips that you can do to make the most of your time, get the most things done, and really be as efficient as you can be and grow a strong business, a strong successful business, and put some really good systems in place to handle your days. And then I'm gonna share with you a really cool tool um, at the end of giving you the tips that you can use, and it's also a productivity tool, and it's completely free. So, making the most of your time, um, one of the things that you're going to have to manage and really master and take control of is um, your, your, your activities. So, my first tip for you is to cluster your activities. Try to do certain things together. Um, if it is certain things like, for instance, your marketing or writing your email, your e-zine, or having strategy sessions with new clients. Cluster those things and say block off every Monday from eight to 12, where you're only gonna work on your marketing, or every Tuesday to Thursday from one to three, when you're gonna do initial consultations. And make sure that you only do those things within that time, because whenever you focus on one activity, and you're in the zone and you're working on it, you kind of tend to go faster than if you were to do that activity at one o'clock, then three o'clock, then seven o'clock. Um, it, 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 it's, you're less focused when you have to scatter that activity like that and it's, you're not as productive. So cluster certain activities and stick to that, that schedule that you're gonna do those things. The second tip is to get control of your email. Get control of your email addiction that is. And admit it, a lot of us, including myself, are addicted to email. But I've heard uh, a, a famous um, marketer uh, say something, I heard him say it the other day, and I wanted to share that with you. And the person is Brendan Burchard, and he said, your email inbox is full of other people's agenda. Because the real things in life, the real emergencies that we have to deal with normally come in by phone, uh, we tend to really get things by email that has to do with giving the person who sent you in the email some kind of a, a benefit. Not that emails are not important, but email needs to be managed, it needs to be checked at certain times of the day. You can't be... You can't keep your email open and keep refreshing the screen to see if a new email has come up. So have certain times of the day that you're only going to check email. Say once in the morning or twice in the morning and then once in the evening. And then you deal with the issues that come up at those specific times. Then you close off email and that's it. You can't really stay on the drip and keep it open and keep refreshing and checking all the time. That's not the best use of your time. And you're going to find that your day is going to get away from you when you're constantly checking and reacting to email. So be proactive. Check your email only at certain times. Deal with the issues that come in by email at that point when you're checking it as much as you can. And then close and go on to something else. And the third tip is to manage your incoming calls. This can be another time suck. Whenever you get incoming calls, unplanned incoming calls, even if it's from colleagues, once it's unplanned, it can really get a hold of your day, kind of take you over. And again, you get in that reactive mode. So have certain times of the day where either you could, this is one system, have certain times of the day where you will accept incoming calls or do not accept incoming calls at all unless they were planned and they were on your calendar. And then listen to your voicemail at key times during the day and return those calls. Return the ones, of course, that are important during the business day. And if it's personal calls, deal with that after business hours. Deal with that after the hours that you've given yourself to deal with your business. That can be a really big time drain and you're getting it, getting it, getting it, getting it to phone calls and as, as I said in the point before if you're always reacting to incoming emails so those are my three tips for you cluster your activities 
manage your email, check it only at specific time and deal, deal with it whenever you do check it and manage your incoming phone calls. Now here's the cool tool that I like to share with you. And this tool is something that allows you to make have persons that wanna get in touch with you for either cons consultations, initial consultations, or even for client calls, have persons schedule that time with you using this online calendar, which actually syncs with Google Calendar, which is also a very good tool if you use that. And the, the tool is called, the website is called You Can Book, Dot me. That's Y O U C A N B O O K dot me. Go and check it out. It's completely free. I've been using it and I love it. It syncs nicely with my Google Calendar, which is what I use to manage my appointments. And you're going to find that it really keeps you on track. It, you can block out the times that you're available for, for appointments and meetings. And you can open up those, sorry, yeah, block out the times that you're available and um, block out times that you're not available so that it doesn't show up on your calendar and some, somebody can't book an appointment with you where you did not want an appointment to take place. So go ahead and check out that tool. I hope you enjoyed this, these tips. And if you're not already getting these tips via email on a weekly basis from me, go ahead and log on to my website at stephanietreasure.com. Each week I either share um, strategies and tips around online marketing or general uh, marketing, any business related tips, and of course, like I shared today, productivity. I'll see you next time where I share more of those tips. Take care.